it's Miss Jessie here. Um, I just wanted to say that I am missing doing STEM with all of you so much. So I'm going to bring Girls Inc. STEM to you. So today we're going to be making a kite. And for this, I've just gathered up some things that I had around the house. I had straws. So you're going to need something that's going to perform, be the back structure to it. So I have straws. You can use popsicle sticks, skewers, pencils. A whole load of different things and then I grabbed this um, brown paper that we had it's kind of like construction paper but you could use tissue paper regular paper newspaper whatever you like it just had to be something that was light enough because if I use something like clay it probably wouldn't fly very well so the first thing that we're gonna do is you're gonna take the paper and draw your kite shape so a way, you can see this is really curly paper, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a rectangle first, put the rest to the side, and because I want both sides to be e even, what I'm going to do is just draw one side, and you can see, I don't know if you can see, very lightly and then I'm going to fold this paper in half so that I can still see the half of the kite shape I drew and then I'm just going to cut out this kite shape. So here I have my kite shape. Mine is a bit rounded, but that's okay. That's where the straws are going to come in, hopefully, and to help this have a bit more structure. And on your kite, you can use markers, pencils, crayons, or even paint to draw a design. So I'm just going to draw a quick design on mine. Just going to write... Girls Inc. And then flip it over. I'm going to grab a few of these straws. And since I do have the bendy bit on, I'm going to cut those off. Because I think it's going to have a bit more structure otherwise. I'm going to take my tape. And you probably don't need too much tape. Just at each end. I'm going to cut another one. And this just happens to two of these fit perfectly with the size of the kite I've made. Because you want it to have structure so it can sort of float like a plane in the wind. And then I'm going to put some across the middle too. So I'm just going to measure how much that would be to the middle and then cut that off. Take that and hopefully it will give this kite some more structure. You can see it's already not curling anymore. I'm just going to add one little extra piece and then do the same for the other side. And I think popsicle sticks would work really well for this, but straws are great too. So now I have my kite structure and we're going to wonder how is this going to fly. So I have my ribbon, I'm going to take a little piece at the bottom of the kite and just fold it in half and make a small slit. If you have a hole puncher you can use that too, that would probably work a bit better. But and then I'm going to put the ribbon through and I'm going to tie it. Apparently I'm having difficult, difficulty tying it right now. I'm going to tie it there and then I'm just going to leave the rest of this on and then 
I'm going to go outside and test it out. So what you can also do is you can add ribbons at the end. You can obviously put more decoration on it. Um, but I hope you enjoyed making your kite. And if this doesn't fly, I'm going to go and try it out and show you girls. But if this doesn't work, I'm going to think about ways to make it lighter so that it will fly better. So let's go and see if it flies. So I'm outside now and I'm going to see if this kite will fly. Kind of. Well, it kind of flies, but it could fly a lot better. Some ways that I could make this kite fly better is I could make it wider and longer, and then I could also use a lighter paper. So instead of this thick um, brown paper, I could use tissue paper or newspaper, and then I could maybe use a little less, um, fewer straws on the other side. So I hope you girls enjoyed making your kites and this virtual girls ink stem lesson i'm gonna go back inside and try and make this kite larger and fly better but i hope to see you next week when i do another one of these virtual stem lessons stay safe girls and we miss you